Psychedelics, a wide range of chemicals which typically induce hallucinations amongst many other effects. Not much is known, not many people care. But what if I told you that there is a psychedelic chemical produced naturally in your body, capable of inducing powerful hallucinogenic experiences? This is where I introduce to you dimethyltryptamine, or in short, DMT, and the very person responsible for bringing it into the spotlight, Rick Strassman. Strassman, born in LA, began his DMT research in 1990. During his project, he supervised more than 400 sessions involving 60 patients to test its effects by varying doses of injection. Keep in mind this is the first time any psychedelic was researched in the US despite heavy governmental restrictions on the access of these substances. Many of these sessions provide extremely powerful visual, emotional and spiritual experiences. However, as many as 25 patients went through adverse effects ranging from mild discomfort to traumatizing encounters with things described as reptiles, robots and aliens. Mainly due to these events, Strassman ended his research in 1995, finally compiling all his findings into his first book, DMT, The Spirit Molecule, in the year 2000. Nowadays, there is an ever-increasing interest in not only DMT, but all psychedelics, part of which is pushed by notable celebrities such as Joe Rogan and Mike Tyson. This growing interest may prove crucial in the development of treatments of certain mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety. A recent example of this, reported by the BBC, detailed that the UK company Small Pharma has commenced trials using DMT on patients experiencing depression. Looking forward, with more research done, we hope that psychedelics such as DMT can be the pioneers to a mental health treatment revolution. Let's not forget the man who first drove all of this research forward, Rick Strassman.